Back in March of 2022, Galactic Star Cruiser opened and Disney had a lot of high expectations for it. It was supposed to be an amazing experience for Star Wars fans, yet with the price and the mediocre offerings, it seemed to be doing terribly. And apparently it did worse than we could have even expected because they are now shutting it down in only a few months. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So, I thought that we could start off with this Bounding Into Comics article, Disney Shuts Down. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel in another piece of mounting evidence that Disney has destroyed the Star Wars brand. And I, of course, have been saying this for years at this point. When Disney initially bought Lucasfilm, I was very hopeful, right? I thought they'd throw a lot of money into it. They'd put a lot of really good people onto it, and they just didn't. And unfortunately, we have seen over the years them do things that have severely damaged the brand, and now this is just another piece of evidence. I never really had a lot of faith in Galactic Star Cruiser being successful. Disney, of course, did try to play it off as successful to investors. We saw in, like, earnings calls them talk about how, you know, it was sold out for months and months, even though a lot of those months that they said were filled ended up being open on the website. But I just couldn't imagine that it was doing this poorly, especially after all of the things they've done in order to get people there, right? We have heard that they've given away a ton of free experiences to, you know, critics trying to get them in, get them doing reviews. They had slashed the price on it. Apparently, they were offering a lot of combo deals where if you paid for other things at Disney, you would end up getting, you know, discounts on Galactic Star Cruiser. So, they really were trying, and I kind of thought that that was going to work because Star Wars is still massive. There's still millions of fans worldwide, but apparently it just wasn't enough. It says the Walt Disney Company reportedly announced the closure of the Gal Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser after barely a year. The closure is the latest in an ever-growing mountain of evidence that the company succeeded in fundamentally destroying the Star Wars brand. Galactic Star Cruiser was described by the hotel's official site as a revolutionary two-night experience where you are the hero. You and your group will embark on its first-of-a-kind Star Wars adventure that's your own. It's the most immersive Star Wars story ever created, one where you live a bespoke experience and journey further into a Star Wars adventure that you ever dreamed possible. But the people who went, the critics, actually had a lot to say about that because they described it as a $5,000 experience where you are in a windowless bunker. I would never pay for an experience where anyone would even consider describing it. Okay, a windowless bunker. They tried to, like, create as many rooms as possible in this, and they all ended up feeling like tiny little cabins. And yes, you don't get windows. You don't get a lot of space, even. It just seemed so underwhelming, especially for the price, because as it says, when the hotel was initially announced, Disney was charging $1,209 per guest per night or $4,809 for standard cabin rooms for two guests. And I understand that sometimes prices get a little bit higher for these unique experiences, right? You're not just getting the room that is themed. You're also getting food. You're getting a, just a space in general. They had, you know, the characters at this, the music. It was supposed supposed to be a very immersive Star Wars experience, but this price was absolutely in Sane. And I have said in multiple videos that if this was a good Star Wars experience, it would have done awesome. I love Star Wars. Well, 
I used to love Star Wars. I don't love new Star Wars. And I would have even paid money if it was worth it. But when they expect people to pay thousands of dollars to stay in rooms described as windowless bunkers, they should have known it wouldn't do well. I at least thought it would be around for like two or three years since they poured over two billion dollars into building this experience and getting it ready. But the fact that they announced its closure just a little over a year after it even opened it's hilarious to me because disney does deserve ultimately to crash and burn they have killed so many franchises that so many people love and i used to love star wars such a massive amount but this was just not acceptable and it was never acceptable i mean even looking at this article back from 2022 you know we saw the first look at galactic star cruiser and all of these initial concept arts looked really freaking great they looked very impressive but then when you actually saw the experience it just looked like everything was made of plastic you had some very colorful lights and then you had people in their costumes and set up and they didn't even really care about the experience either. It's just not okay and not acceptable for this price tag. And of course, since this was announced, people have posted on social media about it, discussing films, put up this tweet about how it was shutting down at Walt Disney World on September 30th, and the comments are brutal. Next time, try not charging $5,000 for a room. Uh, I'm not even mad about the price. I think the experience was subpar and low production value. They never really cared about what fans wanted, right? They never really cared about giving us an experience worth our money. That's what these companies do most of the time. They try to give you a subpar experience that you think is at least acceptable so that you pay for it, even if it's just once. This was such a cool idea. It's a shame that Disney priced out everyone that wasn't an oil tycoon. The idea is probably the future of theme park and hotel immersion, but it has to be decently priced so people can actually, you know, go there. And I thought that the idea of it was cool too. It didn't seem like they had a lot of cool characters since they were primarily focusing on like sequel trilogy characters and then a few more memorable ones, people like Chewbacca, right? But I just wish that they had had, uh, you know, really thought a little bit more about the experience. Disney's got to take a few steps back. Just give us simple, good, affordable, reliable. They're going all out with proprietary and unique stuff, which is cool, but it's expensive, which I completely agree with. I thought that they could have made this a decent experience, and honestly, I don't feel bad that Galactic Star Cruiser has failed. There were very few people that were going that were raving about it who uh, could even afford it, let's be honest, and now it is shutting down at the end of September, and Maybe Disney will learn from this. I highly doubt it, but so long. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video. Really soon.